Welcome to Missouri Economy Today. I'm Julie Peterson. Joining me today is David Kerr, Director for the Missouri Department of Economic Development. Thank you for joining us, David. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to be in here. Recently, the Department of Economic Development implemented a strategic initiative for economic growth. Tell us a little more about this initiative and what it seeks to accomplish. Well, certainly the governor and I believe that the state, like any successful organization, needs to have a roadmap for success as they move forward. We need to understand where we're going and how we're going to get there. So in May of last year, uh, the governor kicked this initiative off at the Kauffman Foundation over in Kansas City. It is an initiative to involve the business leaders from across the state to help us as a state develop a long-term strategy and a roadmap for our future from an economic development standpoint. This sounds like quite an undertaking. How did the department coordinate and implement the overall initiative? Well, we uh, acted as a facilitator, but I think it's important to understand that this is not the Department of Economic Development strategic plan, but this is a strategic plan that was developed by the business, the labor, the economic development, and the higher educational leaders of this state. They developed this plan. We really designed this process to identify what we wanted the end result to be. And the end result being, we wanted to identify between six and eight strategic initiatives that we as a state must accomplish over the next five years to transform our economy into a 21st century, high growth and sustainable economy. So we engaged uh, people from all around the state. We started with uh, six meetings around the state in six different regions. We visited every one of those regions twice. And we engaged more than 600 representatives, again from business, from labor, from economic development, and from higher ed, provide their input in terms of what those strategic initiatives should be. We then took the input from all of those six regions and we presented it to our 41 member steering committee. They then determined what those six to eight strategic initiatives are. Um, and I think the real rewarding part of this process is that, that 41 member steering committee that are made up of a very well-respected, diverse, both geographically as well from an, as an industry perspective, group of individuals unanimously approved and agreed on what those eight strategic initiatives should be. Additionally, they, they identified seven targeted industries that we as a state are going to focus on because those industries are going to uh, be the ones that really um, contribute to the growth of the economy as we move forward. Out of this initiative, several strategies for transforming Missouri's economy have been identified. What are some of these strategies? Well, those eight strategies range from a whole host of areas. Uh, for example, one of the strategies is related to workforce development. Uh, the strategy basically states that we need to develop a workforce that has the education and work skills necessary to compete in the 21st century economy. Uh, we have another strategy that indicates that we need to build a world-class export trade initiative. Uh, we have initiatives about optimizing our tax, our regulatory, and our climate so that we are a, an attractive state and we are a business-friendly state. Um, we have uh, initiatives that deal with small minority businesses to make sure that we aren't just looking in the metro areas and we aren't just looking to support large businesses, but in fact we have uh, initiatives and plans to make sure that we help all businesses in the state, whether they be rural or urban, whether they be big or small, and to make sure that we uh, include all forms of business in terms of minority as well as small businesses. So that's an example of some of the, uh, the initiatives that we've identified. Something else that came out of this initiative was a new group of proposed high growth industries known as target clusters. What are these clusters? Well, again, just as we indicated that you have to have a small number of initiatives that you focus on, we also believe that you can't be everything to everybody. So we identified those high growth industries that reside here in Missouri that we believe are, are the real growth industries of the future that's going to drive our economy. So we identified seven industries. These are industries that are already have been established in the state. They are industries where we have assets and we have businesses and we have workforce to support those. Uh, so those seven industries are um, advanced manufacturing with a base, uh, with a real base in terms of niche markets with automotive as well as with um, aerospace. Uh, the second target of the industry is energy solutions. That is not energy transmission or energy generation, but green technology type of energy solutions. For example, the development and the manufacturing of high capacity energy storage units like batteries. Um, the uh, third area is bioscience with a heavy concentration on animal health, plant sciences, and biomedical. The fourth targeted industry is health services and health sciences. The next industry is information technology that includes resource centers and data centers. Uh, the sixth area is financial services and professional services. And the seventh area or targeted clustered industry is, is um, transportation and logistics. And finally, talk about the results of this initiative. Uh, will they be used as sort of a blueprint for Missouri's economy? 
Well, in addition to identifying the eight strategic initiatives and the seven targeted industries, the report also has identified the tactical plans under each one of those eight strategic initiatives that we are going to have to implement to, to make this plan happen. We are already uh, well into that process. The next step is to, uh, to actually implement those tactical plans. We will be doing things like identifying um, the tactical teams for each one of those eight strategic initiatives that we will involve the business men and women from across the state in that process to ensure that we implement the tactics that have been, recommended, that have been recommended. We will also um, form um, targeted industry clusters around those seven targeted uh, industries that we've identified so that we can get the business men and women associated with each one of those particular industries to help us identify how we grow those industries and develop those particular uh, targeted sectors. Sounds like some exciting economic development initiatives underway. They, they are. It is really exciting, and you know we have uh, the commitment and the the excitement of these 600 businessmen and women from across the state to help to develop this plan, and are looking forward. I might make just one closing note on this. Also, we have the 41 member steering committee. The process is done. The plan has been published but we have retained that group because we are going to use them on an annual basis to update this plan. We don't want this plan to go on the shelf. We want it to stay in the middle of our desk to make sure that it is vital and that it's important and that we implement the plan. And one of the ways you do that is to make sure it's up to date. So we plan to utilize the steering committee on an annual basis to revise that plan, to update it every year, to reflect what has happened or changed in the previous year in Missouri, whether that be the the market, whether that be the climate, whether that be the business environment. So we plan to update this, this uh, plan every year to make sure it remains a vital program, a vital plan, and a tool that we can use moving forward. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate it. That wraps up this edition of Missouri Economy Today. Join us again next time for more on economic development efforts in Missouri. I'm Julie Peterson. Thanks for watching.